Some education groups say that Governor Cuomo's budget holds a warning for the legislature. Enact his proposed education reforms or schools will get no new aid for the next two years. Ben Amy has more from one group on what this would mean for students. It's one paragraph in Governor Cuomo's executive budget, but it has school districts and Robert Lowry of the New York State Council of School Superintendents, NISCUS, very worried. What you see is the legislation says if no reforms are enacted, then no district can receive an increase over what they got last year. Conceivably, they could receive less. The governor's executive budget would hold school aid at current levels for next school year and the year after, forcing school districts to take a long look at their budgets. That would be huge. Uh, you know, they would have to make very painful choices about uh, you know, programs and services that they offer to students. But Lowry says it's not just about the money. We also want to talk about some of the reforms that the governor's proposed. And, uh, and the overall needs of school districts. Lowry says NISCUS would support clarifying rules about firing teachers who haven't gotten tenure, lengthening the probationary period to receive tenure, and changing procedures for dismissing tenured teachers who are found to be ineffective. But Lowry says the governor is using the aid money to hold the legislature hostage. Create some pressure for us to advocate for these reforms. And again, some we would strongly support and some you know, we question. Reporting in Albany, Ben Amy. News Channel 13.